Thank you so much, Bhushan, Anup, and Jyotin, and the entire STL team for amazing presentation. We got to know about the the great work being done at your side. Now we move on to the the main part of the today's meetup. We all have gathered for that. So I request Swapnil to move. So before I invite Mr. Nikhil. Nikhil Malhotra is a chief innovation officer and creator of Makers Lab, a unique thin Q beta. So that's where he has mentioned this thin Q beta space within Tech Mahindra with 21 plus years of experience. He is also a World Economic Forum AI fellow working on responsible AI and quantum ethics. He has been a researcher all life and is now leading the growth of AI, robotics, and quantum computing research within TechM. And his area of personal research has been how quantum computing would inspire the growth of AI. He consults various businesses and academic organizations on the future of AI and quantum. He has won numerous awards, including in 2020 and 21 Innovation Congress Award for the most innovative leader in India. One of his his vision is to enable machines to talk in the Indian local dialect. And there are 1645 dialects in India and 26 mother tongues and 80% of Indian population does not speak English. Nikhil is researching on Sanskrit and how this ancient Indian language could sow the for the next computer revolution. His hobbies include playing tennis, football, reading books on quantum mechanics and biographies. He holds a master's degree in computing at, with specialization in distributed computing from Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology, Melbourne, and he is an avid physicist. With a huge round of applause, Mr. Nikhil Malhotra for Makers Lab. If you could move to the next slide, I would like to also mention about his book, Courage. It's the journey of an innovator. And this book has all the ingredients of drama, emotion, action, innovation with a dose of humor. So I would insist you to please check it out. Over to you, Mr. Nickel. Right. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Guys, there is, I think I, I was telling Srini, we, we would have gotten it, but we would actually send it across to you so that you can distribute. I think that's the whole idea. So, so first of all, thank you so much, uh, guys. And I think this is a great forum um, and um, yeah. Am I a little bit closer? I'll speak louder. No problem. So, um, yeah, so we'll start this. We'll start a little bit of slide deck, but I'll also tickle a few brains here uh, today. Um, please don't expect any managerial talk from me. I'm a hardcore technologist. One thing that I don't put in my resume is that um, I was a researcher at IBM before I joined Tech Mahindra. I think everybody knows Tech Mahindra. Everybody knows Mahindra's. So I don't want to uh, belabor the point, but I think my research was, um, I've, you've heard it, it's Watson. So I was one of the first coders in Watson, uh, IBM Watson. And uh, we were so pumped up when Watson beat the Jeopardy challenge, but internally we knew it had nothing in AI that we were calling, right? So, so we were really pumped up. We didn't know what happened with Watson, right? We didn't know what Watson did, but it did beat the Jeopardy challenge. And I think that's where my journey started off. It started off about almost about 19 years ago when Watson was being built up. Um, and then, then I, of course, joined TechM, and uh, TechM was a largely services company, so my change was from a product to services, getting adjusted to the whole field of what is going on. Um, and I was in different parts of the world. I, I, I traveled to Australia, spent a little bit of time in US. 2014, I decided enough is enough. I don't want to do all of this customer service job. And I actually came back to India, gave my resignation, and said, I'm going to do my own startup. The culture was ripe. Uh, you know, the new government at the helm was actually giving us. So suddenly my CEO calls up and says, where the hell are you going? I said, boss, mera ho gaya, yaar. Ye haath jode hain. And you know, that's what, that's what my whole process is. I've done with it. I'm actually going to go and do my startup. He says, why don't you do it in Tech Mahindra? And that's really the journey of the Makers Lab, which started off in Tech Mahindra. It's a small place. Um, it's become big now. It's across nine locations across the world. So this is a journey of what we do, why we do, how we belabor on innovation, but what do we do? The Courage book really talks about this journey, but the Courage book also talks about how we went into this phase um, and what have we done over the past few years. So I'll just put on those points. 
but in those points that i mentioned today i'd also like to tickle a few brain nerves uh, right and see where is technology going what's the future why do we do what we do and we'll pick up few questions here and there from you saying look this is where i think technology is going this is where i think you know it's going so before i start off this um how many of you are still in technology are still actively involved in tech i know amit is amit told about it still doing coding still involved in whatever tech that you're doing and not just management right all of you are okay a large percentage of it is okay so we'll take a few brains so we'll we'll go ahead so so yeah so so um uh, go ahead satish please oh i think i have so this one is it when i came back to india the idea was what's the mission and vision for this particular structure that i'm going to build in and all of you have heard about dr mashilkar dr mashilkar uh, was the erstwhile psa for the prime minister and has anybody heard about param as well param uh, supercomputer param you know who built it dr vijay bhatkar dr vijay bhatkar stays around in pune doesn't talk much but you can actually talk to him right these were the first two gentlemen i actually met when i came back to understand what's going on and when i met dr vijay bhatkar my mind was blown because i couldn't understand half of the words that he was trying to say he said why don't you go into con consciousness what's consciousness and technology maine bola sir kahan baat kar rahe ho mere ko to ye bhi nahi pata kya karna hai abhi you know that was the kind of talk that he was doing so he said um, those were some of the initial gurus as i call it where i started the makers lab and if you look at the mission of the lab we have a very close knit mission for the lab and that's how human beings and machines can work together in the near future that we are looking at which includes all sorts of tech of neuroscience inspired ai which includes quantum all the new words so on and so forth but i'll try and break this down today in my talk as to why we do what we do it but the vision of the lab is very very simple it's how do you connect with people and how do you simplify their lives by creating things and this connection of ours is not just in forums like this it's also to the grassroots in terms of kids who are working so i have the lab where 7 to 14 year old kids come in and they are actually actively working in ai and machine learning and they can actually put anybody who is working in ai and machine learning to shape so they've got wonderful ideas fantastic new way of looking at and approaching things i've also got people who are not from this field people who are actors people who are game developers people who are designers um people who've got very different perspective of the world come in and basically come to the lab and say what can be done from a specific problem perspective one thing that you've been belabored as a point and told in innovation is please be empathetic to your customer we say that's absolutely crap that doesn't work first and foremost is be empathetic to yourself right it's like that airplane that you travel in where the air hostess puts up a kind of uh, message to you say put on your mask first before you put on the mask of an infant if you are in the innovation sector you cannot put a mask on the customer before you put a mask on yourself because there are potholes of fear that you get in when you're doing innovation and you have to pick yourself up so if you have that point clear we will then start with some of the journeys that we've actually taken we think that these are the three vectors of change that is going to change the world forever where you live one of course ai big term everybody keeps talking about it b about metaverse or whatever your younger kids or kids are actually putting up to you if you've got a 7 to 14 year old kid in your house at the moment he would be on roblox right he or she would be doing a lot of work on the metaverse itself without you knowing and they'll be pushing you and your dads and moms to actually go there and get it moving across because that's the way they can actually animate themselves that's the way they want to connect now so we thought that this is one of those vectors and of course third is quantum computing but we do details these vectors have actually helped us serve humanity during the time of covid 19 i think a lot of people don't know this but makers lab of tech mahindra is one of the only labs to have found a therapeutic molecule against covid 19 outside of a biotech company and the journey and story and this is a patent pending the journey and the story about it is we were essentially sitting down together hunkered down and during covid everybody was at home what do you do so we said uh, chalo kuch karte hain virus the only virus we know is the software virus the let's what the actual virus does so we we started reading some books 
we started finding out what's going on in the virus. Suddenly, we figured out everything is going above our head. We can't really realize what's going on. So I called up Dr. Gagandeep Kang, and I also called up Dr. Anurag Agarwal, some of the brilliant virologists in the country. And I told them, I said, kuch hai, virus ke mein. I said, bahut kuch hai, but what do you want to do? And why are you asking me all of these questions? Said, give, me, give me a lesson, if you can, in my team. So we actually sat down for about two or three hours, and we started learning from these guys. They were telling all sorts of you know, virus is there, this is what happens. This is the difference between virus and bacteria. Nothing was understood. After about three or four days, he said, boss, nahi mein aara, kya hai? So he said, yeah, somebody said, virus is nothing but a kind of natural language processing chain of data. If you look at the virus internally, it's nothing more than a string of digits. Those string of digits represent amino acids. That is all what you need to know to understand a virus. Great point. Let's stick on to that. So I ran a simple code. And I started comparing this virus with about already viruses which have passed in the human species or whatever was there. I found something very interesting. I found that this chain of COVID virus, which was the alpha variant, was very similar to malarian protozoa. And we raised the first paper because we thought I've heard at that time hydroxychloroquine, chloroquine had become very, very popular. We gave the first paper out in the market saying, hang on, the reason why hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine is being talked about is only because the structure of this virus is very similar to malaria. Otherwise, there's no such structure similar. So please stop taking hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine. You may get any number of these things. No, there's no value to it. Done. Software job done. AI job done. What next? So suddenly somebody in the lab comes up and says, let's see if we can do a molecular docking system. So for those of you who don't know molecular docking, it's like a chain and lock mechanism. If I can get a small marker. It's a very, very simple job. Actually, it's very simple in biology. Let's suppose this is the virus. All we need to are pharma and biomedical industry which says, Find a key to this lock. If the key is found, then the virus is nullified. All that is there to the story of virology and COVID viruses. Now, how can I find a key with about 8,000 odd FDA approved molecules available over there, right? They may have different shapes. They may have different sizes. They may have so many. Things. So somebody said, sir, let's do this. Let's find out if some of these molecules may attack this virus. So we actually got a dump of about 8,000 FDA molecules from the site. And we started running our AI algorithms, genetic, evolutionary, so on and so forth, all sorts of that problems. And we found 17 really worked well. So 17 stuck the guns. And we said, look, this 17 may be a challenge um, in terms of reproducing them. But we found that these 17 are key to the lock. So we took those 17. Again, job done. What do we do next? This is all. We are an IT company, right? We are a technology guy. We don't know what to do next in terms of biomedicine. We've got absolutely no knowledge of what biomedicine really does. Somebody again comes up with an idea. Sir, virus leke aaye? So, I said, virus kaan se laenge? So, said, NIP Pune. So, next day onwards, we actually stuck and we were knocking on NIV's door and the guy is looking at this, is the virus milega? So, he said, kis ka? And this is peak of COVID. He's asking me this question because I'm actually going over there in peak of COVID to ask a vial of virus. This is kyu chahiye? So I said, Tech Mahindra. So he starts looking me up and down again. He says, from Tech Mahindra, what are you trying to do with virus? I said, don't worry about it. Do you have the virus? He says, yes, I've got a vial. He says, okay, give me the vial. So we paid him something. We gave the, he gave the vial to us. We had the virus in our hand. What do we do with it, right? A, we're all because we've got the virus in our hand. B, we don't bloody have a clue what to do with this one. Some joker has told us that this virus has to be tested now with these 17 molecules. We have no clue what to do next. So we say, Ek kaam karte hai. Ye hai. let's send it to Bangalore. Bangalore, we have a lab which may test some of these molecules. So we send this vial to Bangalore. Bangalore has that lab. They test these 17 molecules. Out of them, they report to us after three months. Three of them are working fine. Or three of them are actually really working. Okay, again, job done. We're very happy. Because from a tech background to an AI to a point saying that the vial may work, we're very, very happy. We have kaafi teer maar liye. Abhi chodo yaar. Bangalore, there is a team because I have a lab over there. Somebody gives me an idea. Sir, lung pe try karte hai. So I said, I'm not going to do 
this is not my piece of cake. No, no, sir. He said, sir, lungs, normal lungs. We'll go to a morgue. We'll get a, we'll get a dead body. We'll take out the lung. We'll figure out what's going on. I said, you can do it. I said, yes, I'll go. Next day morning, he goes on. He gets to a cadaver, breaks out, or obviously takes out a lung, takes a piece of epithelial out of that lung, constructs a 3D printed bio lung, and tests these molecules, the three which were found. One comes out to be beautifully connected to what we were trying to do. That one is the therapeutic molecule that we've essentially now posted as a patent. But that therapeutic molecule is also an anti-thrombotic, anti-diabetic molecule. So that we know that it doesn't impact your body, but it only works for alpha variant. We've not tested for Omicron or some of these things. The reason why I'm telling you this story is that innovation does not really mean what you know. Innovation is about trying hands which you do not know. And, and that's the whole essence of it. So you cannot have borders and constructs and figures or figurines drawn that this may be the innovation sector that you may go in, right? So, so this is what we did. We did a lot of other things. For example, if you go to Indian villagers now today and you look at a app that the villagers use, it's called Atmanirbha Krishi app. The Atmanirbha Krishi app is available for every farmer in the country to give information about where he stands, what minerals does he have, what kind of water products does, can he use, what's the weather pattern and prediction, etc. But we are also the only people in this world. Let me rephrase. We are the only people in the world to have found out that Panchang works better than IMD. Panchang. Right? All of you might get calendars of Panchang. It's the old Indian Panchang. People say, Ye to purana hai. it's pretty old, it's nascent. We're the only guys to have converted it into an algorithm. Three Panchangs mixed together. We have tested across the world for 40 years of data. And for large region of prediction, which is one, one and a half years from now, and we feel that it is 15% more accurate than any IMD data. IMD can only predict you or any meteorological department can predict you three weeks hence. After that, their, their accuracy of prediction drops. We can predict one and a half years in hence. And we think that old Indian science had some which were which were basically lost. And one of my construct of innovation inside India is also to say that we've got a lot of structure coming back from us from the background. We really don't use it. We, we lose it. We tend to forget about it. And we tend to get into these modes where people say, Are purana hai yaar, chalega nahi. Astrology hai yaar, ye ho nahi sakta. So these are some of the things that my lab is actually currently doing. I know there's a commercial value attached to it as well. But uh, those are the IPs that we're building. We are actually across six locations across the world. And we really do a lot of work in terms of co-innovation with Bhushan also said. The idea was sit with the customer, understand their problem, try and solve it. But try and solve it in a very different way because they're understanding the society in that particular part of the world. So we are in UK, our partners are BT, of course, our old standing partners. So we do a lot of AI ML work over there. We are in uh, Munich and some of the other parts of the world as well. Okay. Time to shift gears. This is the only management can I, I can talk about, right? Rest of it is all rest of it is all tech that I can talk about, right? So, so shifting to a different gear to all of you, right? So one of the reasons people ask me, why do you do whatever you're doing, right? Why, what forced you to come down to think about this when people are trying to do a collaborative ecosystem with things, et cetera, why, are, why the hell are you trying to break some barrier which you may not have success? And there's a reason for this. Number one is there's a lot of challenges over here. We're not there. If somebody tells you AI is the be all and end all of everything, they're absolutely wrong and false. And I can prove them in two minutes. A number one, the term itself AI is misnomeric. There is nothing called an artificial intelligence. It's all machine learning and it's all prediction pattern based data. B, we want to bring it closer to human brain. And I will show you an example. And I will practically and physically show you an example why we want to bring it closer to a human brain. You know how much energy your human brain does to do all sorts of work that you're doing at right at the moment. You may be fiddling with your thumbs. You may be listening to me. You may be understanding. You may be shaking your head. You may be thinking about something else. You know how much energy that the brain took? Any guesses? What? What? Do you want? Light bulb. That's it. You know how much energy does a machine do to actually make a differentiation between a cat and dog, which people start telling you, hey, 
this is a great idea of classification and google has done this you know how much energy does the machine use 40000 kilowatts a number 1 your energy energy about energy wise you're not sustainable if i could tap in into this which is probably the best machine available for us on this universe i could probably tap in and make my ai better in whatever way i'm trying to do so that's the whole idea of it so oh, we have our focus on this thing but there's also one more bigger purpose that i have which is it is the single most important quest for humanity for the last 10 or 15 years it's happening why do we do what we do why do we have problems like alzheimers why can't we solve some of these neurodegenerative disorders and so on and so forth what's the reason behind it and it's a give and take it's a two way street ai can help us ai yeah, but ai can also help us find some of these challenges and we can even improve ai right and the other thing is obviously to know thyself i want to understand what i'm doing over there okay you see this picture how many of you are pretty sure what you found there you're pretty sure right in terms of elements it looks like it's actually a scene of venice and venice was underwater for some time in about 2 3 years but you're pretty sure about what you'd seen some the water parts of it are here parts of it are there you can from your perspective you can even find out there's some geese there's some birds there's a pole which is half under this thing probably a probably a boat or a or a gondola ride that is actually there right when i give this to ai it doesn't understand on half of this imagery and this is the best of the image best of the ai machines that you can use the reason for that is because what you can do with your eye any human or any ai system can really do with whatever we have so there's a change if you are from that background ai is bound to change in the future and that's something which i'm just going see what do we study we study vision in a big way and reason for vision is that this is the single most important thing that evolved the species on this planet i've given you a small little structure over here about 1000 million years ago speciation started happening where species were being created um, you know there are records where two or three or four species came up right up to the point about 500 million years ago every year earth only saw two maximum one species evolve and post 500 million years ago speciation just became rampant there's a theory that goes from andrew parker in stanford that says that the reason why 500 million years ago species started becoming or speciation started increasing was only because vision happened eyes became prominent now you could as a predator you could catch a prey as a prey i could evade myself and that's what the reason for speciation was and what i'm showcasing you is some of the earliest organisms called trilobites who actually evolved this eyesight like mechanism And that is where speciation happened that's the single most important reason why you are there what you are there your language came later vision much more earlier for you to evade for you to understand the world around you the reason why we study this right can you count the number of berries over here just wake a while guys 3 4 Six, seven, good guess. Twenty. ये तो बहुत ही wild guess था. Twenty, twenty you said, right? How about now? What happened? What changed? The moment your world became colorful. your inference about the world became better that's the single most important reason why trichrome structures in your eyes today evolved and that's the single most reason why you can see color but i'm going to fool you for 2 minutes right just just fool you for 2 minutes what color do every one of you see on this dress just blatantly open out what color do you see white and golden blue and golden blue and black gray and black white also okay great white is there anybody else with any other color sorry 
blue and brown are all of you wrong all of you right what's happening what the hell is happening over here you've got all the same eyes but you all talking about different colors i for the life of me cannot see blue over here somebody said blue you for the life of you not see blue over here you're only seeing golden and white you can you can see black black and blue mai apni zindagi mein dekh paya isme mujhe ya to mai galat hu ya aap galat ho blue and black blue and black you can even change it matlab aankhe dho ke bhi aa sakte ho you can see. i can only say golden and white right same eyes what's happening what's happening same eyes all of you are talking about different colors over here that's no it's not color black no no we are not color black no, no. we can no no we, we still see you wearing a pink top you wearing a black black trouser but we are not color black what's happening over here is the brain is evolving into a color so photo receptors of your eyes which are the retina are not responsible for any um, any vision or any understanding the vision really happens at the back of the brain and each one of you has a very specific brain very specific way of looking at color and the brain fools you in behaving a color right and this is exactly what happens sorry this is biological but but, but the color from the retina goes into a kind of system called relay which is lateral glutenate nuclei in the thalamus which has no role to play it just relays out and when it relays out it relays out to the back of the brain where the entire structure gets built each one of you has a different structure can you compare it with neural networks that's exactly the structure of neural networks the only difference over here is we did not take care of the recurrent connections that were happening which is making you you so you yourself are a very different species or a very different paradigm of what you wish to be right this cannot in hundreds and thousands of years be catered by a machine and an ai but a part of it can be taken in terms of what i and that's really my research okay <clears throat> it's really not part of behavior science it's actually what and i can give you some other example where i can fool your brain it's not fooling it's actually saying how your brain concocts it so depending on the neuronal structure connections between your six layers of the primary cortex you actually think very differently so your that's why we say um uh, and that's why in old science in hinduism we say we are not believers we are just searchers we search we don't believe this is a belief that this is golden and white because your belief you say everybody else is wrong i am seeing golden and white so you've got a belief of the structures there's no belief this is a search right and that's exactly what you're trying to do you're actually trying to say look mera to sahi hai baaki tum log sab galat ho tumhari aankhein kharab hai but what we are saying is no it's not true the brain actually picks up and puts out things because they want to do it right and that's based on your connections your facets your life history your past your structure which makes you you and we cannot be you right ever heard of a brain transplant never we've heard of a heart transplant we've heard of a liver transplant we've never heard of a brain transplant because we cannot for let's leave consciousness aside as a meta system but we cannot construct the same brain you are yourself and you are unique right okay <laughs> except the movies you can do yeah, exactly absolutely absolutely so i'll quickly jump on to this before i before i end but um, um, anybody knows what quantum computing is fair good good idea you know what quantum any anybody it's got three states okay okay just read about it okay no problem no problem no no worries we'll go to we'll go to basic physics ninth standard physics tha ninth standard physics halka halka with a with a tinge of what we want to learn right they, you you know all these scientists over there you can see madam curie you can see dirac you can see einstein of course you can see bohr you would have heard bohr's atomic model and so on and so forth you can hear you can see schrodinger you can see werner heisenberg and so on and so forth right this is the start of the quantum era in 1927 in a solvay conference um, which basically seeds of what we are today and i'm going to be counter intuitive please don't please don't snarl at me and kill me because you don't understand the first time because you would never you would have a little bit of a problem understanding it first model of atom old standard ninth standard physics 
watermelon kind of a model beads are there and then there are rest of it is red so it was wrong obviously but this was what you know jj thompson gave it was a you know kind of a model over there. rutherford's gold foil experiment time standard physics hit strong alpha particles on a gold foil some of them will go straight because the atom is you know empty some of them will come back part of them recoil back non 1% because obviously the center of the atom is positively charged great then this light it's both weird when i was studying physics and when i used to talk even today we still think that light is both weird and awesome it's actually got both characteristics built into it and i'll show you one characteristic this was if you don't remember anything out of this talk just just remember this young's double slit experiment ah kabhi to 9th standard 10th standard physics mein kya tha the connotation was that he had a bullet sprayer like a bullet sprayer and he basically opened up one slit and saw came on the other side very simple it's a sand bullet it says that anything closer to this slit will have the highest probability of bullets getting there and others are lower probability sectors over there i open slit 2 great no problems over here i do it with a light source in my house i see exactly the same thing but i see differently i've got waves now because light is a wave if i take two slits and i put a torch over there on the window on the other side or let's say a wall you will see dark light dark light patterns waves ki interference humne padhi hai if we drop a uh, stone in the water then you will have waves some of these waves will rise up some of these waves will go down like so light dark pattern hai now the challenge comes with subatomic particles they try to do the same thing with an electron electrons like a bullet for you and I, us and me in this world we are count intuitively thinking electrons are bullet open one slit he behaves like a bullet open the other slit it behaves like a bullet open both slits oh my god it's behaving like a light what did what happened an electron is something that you can handle right it's a bullet when you start doing with one slit open and one slit close it starts behaving like a bullet the moment you open both slits how does the bloody electron know that it has to act like a wave it's to be everywhere right and that's the conundrum of the universe that you live in the conundrum is you live in in the universe where at the bottom of it which is the subatomic part there is both wave and particle duality so it's all wave if i try and catch that wave like this it will become a particle suddenly if i leave it it becomes a wave again it could be a wave of energy it could be a wave of system anything the fact that i can see you all over here the fact that i can see you all over here is only because your wave is collided by a lot of other waves around you you get hit by him by him by the chair by the ground by the ceiling etc and that's why anoop is here bahar ki chappal andar kyon la rahe gandhi Ah, great stuff. This is good quantum mechanics, but <laughs> but but if this was not the case, Anup's not there. He's virtually absent. He might be there wherever he is, right? So, so that was the story. But the idea is, why should we be excited? A practical cases have started emerging. You are now applying quantum computing in cars, in autonomous driving vehicles, in satellite placement, in even drug discoveries of complex functions. so anything complex which you could not solve is actually being solved over it three basic principles a light bulb can be on or off in your world in quantum world it can be both on and off at the same time a principle called superposition so if you've got four sorry if you've got to piche jayega anyway it's okay sorry if you've got four bits you can do two raised to power four calculations simultaneously if you've got 64 bits which is the bits in your computer you can do 2 raised to power 64 calculations simultaneously you know what this number is number of stars in the milky way galaxy so you already have the power of gods with you right one of the other things that we physicists say is there's no god but anyways that's a different story second important principle again counterintuitive particle red and blue get formed in nature i keep one particle and i throw another particle to him to take, take it outside the universe take it wherever you want to right if i see this particle and put data on this particle sachin's particle will automatically have that data instantaneously 
against the brains of speed, light, and distance. Einstein called it the spooky theory, but this is being used for quantum security. Anyway, ये video चलेगा वहाँ से एक बार ये दिखाएंगे. This is another theory. What will happen if I throw a ball at this glass? What will happen? So these, what what will happen if I throw a ball at the glass? It'll either break, it'll either break, or uh, it'll bounce back. What if that ball can actually cross the wall on the other side without the without the wall break? Then a video, chalo. See that the electron piles on the wall, and a part of the electron comes out over here without breaking the wall. This happens in your world only, the world that you cannot see. Right? This is the reason why we can't go deeper on VLSI design, because when chips can't start getting more closer, electrons will start jumping the gun like this. And as a result of that, today, as we call it, it's the demise of the transistor. There is no more transistor, right? and you will only go into its quantum computing. Okay. So I, I'll just move across. These are some of the things that we have done, but uh, I'll just come down to language because that's an interesting part. Um, and and I keep doing this. And just the last thought is, uh, language is a kind of continuum. It's not discrete. It's not something that I say that there's a rule and a regulation to a language. It's very 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 continuous. You keep talking about it. You keep saying it and stuff like that. You know who found the essence of language? Oh, okay. Let me go back. Who coined AI? Nineteen fifty-six. You know the scientist name. There's a story behind it, so anyways. Who coined AI? Chale, yar, engineers, oh, innovators, oh. Coined AI. One of the biggest topics today, right, in the world. Nobody? Oh, so it was Marvin Minsky and John McCarthy. Read about these scientists. Both of them did the first work in natural language understanding for human beings. You know where they got the idea? Panini. They've written it in their book. It's only because of Panini that they found how natural language understanding could be. And I'll give you an example what Panini's importance was. Take this word: the man goes to the village. In Sanskrit, what do we say? Purusha gramam gachati. Right? Reverse the order of the word. Village go. Village goes to the man. Right? Gramam purusham gachati. It means the same in Sanskrit. It's called an inflection of Sanskrit language. You can reverse the order of any sentence in Sanskrit. It means exactly the same thing. It's an algorithmically, synthetically devised language, devised only by Panini, which is also the, the the base of any natural language understanding. And if you actually look at it, Panini's genius was to say, where is the where is the understanding of the language? Who where is the understanding? Up English was no subject, predicate, verb, pronoun, noun. Parini said it lies in the. The last verb is the essence of the language. If it's gachati, it means somebody is going. If it's gachami, that means I am going. If it's gachamaha, then two of us are going. Right? Old Sanskrit. So it's only the last two letters that encode the language itself. Rest of it, bloody change the entire structure. Don't doesn't matter. Gramam gachati purusham. Purusham gramam gachati, gachati gramam purusham, gachati purusham gramam. Well, it means the same thing. The T is available for me. I know who's going where, right? And that's the essence of natural language understanding for uh, for today's for today's computers. Well, well, what we did, we built India's first language of its own choice. We call it Bhamal. It's called Bharat Markup Language. The Bharat Markup Language allows every kid in rural sector. To code in the language of their own choice, they can use Hindi, Punjabi, Marathi, Gujarati, Sanskrit, whatever, and they can code HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And the reason is because the base transpiler continues to be Sanskrit, and this is given free of cost to every rural kid. Um, about hundred thousand of them are already taking a course on this. About fifty thousand Satish villages that you um, Satish is there. Satish actually took a drive of eight thousand kilometers on a car, and went to fifty thousand villages. In India, teaching kids Bhamal, and then coming back and saying, "Look, I've got some people who are interested in Bhamal and not." So we continue to do this. You can hear it from Prime Minister Modi and also Piyush Goel Sahab, who are actually uh, opening up this, right? So I don't want to belabor on the third point, right? So 
this is some of those things that we also do. You have Satish over here. And that's the other reason why I say innovation can come up from everywhere. Satish was an Uber driver who used to carry me around from Pune to Bombay and back because obviously international flights are there. And one day Satish comes to me and says, I want to learn tech. So I said, Satish, Python is here. Nonchalantly, because obviously I was part of it. Next day when I come in Satish's car and cab, he has a laptop and he's learning Python. Next six months, we are actually only about Python in the car while he travels, takes me around. And then he joins the lab and he now knows IoT, C++, Java, and he's actually devised India's first meta village as well uh, for the country, right? So that's a neurodiversity or the diverse sector that we actually build it into the lab. The gentleman that you see is neurodiverse. He's borderline autistic. He will, um, you know, he, when you talk to him, he will talk with his eyes down and so on and so forth and has a separate connection with us. But when we, um, when we talk to him, we found there's a very different structure and characteristic for him. And he couldn't fit in into the normal role that Maker's Lab did. And I said, Kya karega, Jay? what will you do? He said, sir, I games. Banata hu. Games are my interest. Hai. Game. So when he made the game, he made a 300-pager RPG game in three weeks which is not possible by some of the best developers in the world. So we took him on and he's actually now leading our gaming sector. So he does a lot of work on gaming. He does a lot of work on this, but he continues to be neurodiverse in terms of what we are essentially doing. Right, so in the end, I just don't want to take a lot of time, but I want to give you one simple structure. I think you would read, if you could read the book as well. Courage is not just the absence of fear. C means collaborate. Do it in your life. Try and figure out where can you find an answer. O means objectify your technology or whatever you are trying to do. Don't do it because you had a certain bit of uh, understanding at some point in time, but do objectify it. Try it out with people. See what they do. You is, it's actually you. You are the people who would essentially do it. R is rewire your psyche. So it's, this heart pumps blood 24 by 7. It's this brain that needs firing every now and then, right? So that's why we say rewire your psyche. A is very interesting. Ask stupid questions every day. We have a principle in the lab. I exactly we want to ask that question. Only thing being that by asking these stupid questions, we actually solve a complex problem sometimes. That's why we ask stupid questions. The G is obviously goals which you make in your life. And E, I want to hold you, do not empathize with customers. That's not innovation. Empathize with yourself first, because that's where innovation comes from. And I have seen India go strength to strength, because I'm part and parcel of Atal Incubation Centers. I mentor kids from the rural villages, etc. Innovation in India is not happening in cities. No, it doesn't. Innovation is happening where there's a problem where there's a necessity. And that's where these rural kids are doing. So with that, I leave this session and thank you so much for listening to me. But it's been wonderful. You guys have been wonderful as an audience and uh, you know, a lot to learn and take, take from you guys as well. Thank you so much. <laughs>
okay so if if no questions online you can also post in the zoom chat we'll uh, pick it up meanwhile we'll open the forum here if someone wants i request you to please use the mic otherwise the audience online they cannot hear you so any questions So Nikhil, thanks a lot. And uh, the first question that probably uh, would come to my mind is, Techem being a you know a services company, how is it uh, possible on earth to actually create a space which is which is such such a great place and you know push push mat yar. Jawab sahi doge galat. Sahi sahi. No no, I think I think it looks Techem by grain itself is very entrepreneurial, even if it doesn't look like that. right so it's a services based company we have our clients we have about 1200 clients we do that by grain itself it's entrepreneurial um and when i say that it's my ceo and some of the leadership today which are very very entrepreneurial in terms of what they take in so we are very we will we may we may fall short in certain processes but we do not fall short in taking risks that's number one number two is my leadership is also when i when i gave this idea that something like this as an r and d structure would come in the first question that my leadership obviously had was kar payega they didn't ask whether it's wrong idea or the right idea his question to me and my ceo's question to me was would you be able to do it and give yourself full commitment that you're looking at right because it's like a startup it's like an entrepreneurial culture within the entrepreneurship that we do in techem right which i said yes i would obviously because that was the only thing that i had at that time um and i said that i would be able to so so by grains itself techem is very very entrepreneurial by looks of it it may appear as a services organization that's the reason and that's the reason i i could support the last 8 years itself in terms of what i was doing right so i have a question so what was the thought behind creating the makers lab and when it was created makers lab as a name was not given by me but i was a very simple innovation lab i had few mavericks here and there and the whole idea or the thought was what's the why of tech we largely look at the what and the how of tech hum sabhi wohi karte and as a result of that i was so in a way depressed to see that the western world has seen so much from us we have been curators of a large number of tech but we do not have our own r&d systems and we do not have our own tech going out out of course condition that there are a lot of scientists there are a lot of people who are essentially doing it a lot of corporate folks uh, that is done right so but that was my thought saying that find the why rather than the what and how great uh, i have one questions am audible yeah, yeah go ahead yes please uh, so basically you said we should look at what, what's the why why but in in terms of industry if you see it's always related to time bound activity right so how to take it forward yeah so we we are in a circle sandeep so basically we we call it the whirlpool when we get it into the industry we have to supply to our customers we have to make sure that the customer seems happy we also have to obtain commerce and in that sense you say look where is r and d and not but i can give you few examples right in front of me sir like there's an innovation sector why and i think bhushan did a gave a very good example he said we make a poc and go in front of our um you know our leadership rather than asking for money from the leadership i think that approach in itself is today respected which was not about 10 15 years back because we were in a mode of delivery we are now in a mode of value creation so when you and and you can you can get it from your customers the moment you go to your customers your customers are not going to ask you kaun si company kya background the customers going to ask you acha ye lagaya to kyu lagaya when they are asking why why shouldn't we ask why internally right and it doesn't take much i think a lot of people understand saying making an r&d sector would be pumping in a lot of money making an r&d sector means you have a huge team i have a team of about 30 to 34 just like you have a team of four spruced by 34 i have a team of 34 spruced by about 100 people which are interns for me so it doesn't take a lot of lot of f money but it takes a lot of lot of mind share and f to actually get to that level to say look i can do something different right and the companies would adhere to those principles today not 10 years back okay, great we have a question yeah, from you. akash go ahead First of all, thank you for the session. It's really insightful and uh, learned a lot of new things. So I want my question is about uh, metaverse here. Okay, now it's in boom and everyone is talking about it. So, what are your views and thoughts on uh, like like taking the generation or the world to the next level? And uh, well, there's one movie might be underestimated, like called uh, Ready, Player, uh, Ready one. Player One. Yeah. yeah. 
so it's that's mainly just a focusing game yeah. but yeah so how do we plan for that so what are your views on that yeah so i so your question aligns with uh, amit said i think he had the same question to me in the car and i said wait for it if you can ask it and then i'll answer right so so two or three things i think uh, number one what the, i'll ask you two three simple questions what amit yeah go ahead, go ahead yeah so be, before that you should also tell what you did with union yeah. bank so that uh, everybody knows about it yeah so today my team yesterday only my union bank of india has launched india's first psu metaverse which is actually done by my team uh, so tech mahindra and makers lab so this is the first indian psu to go ever so there's, there's a story just I, I, i'm making you bogged down by saying yes there's a use case but uh, not really true so so i think there are two or three quest answers to your question i'll ask you a i'll ask you a very simple question what is the basic premise of a business today matlab dhande wali baat karte hain business chahta kya hai teen cheeze chahta hai business agar aap ye dimag mein rakh loge to sare business ek hi cheez karte hain big words dhande ki baat karte hain profit chalo profit karo lekin profit kis mein profit kaise profit to ek bahut bada word ho gaya na प्रॉफिट जो भी काम काम करूं प्रॉफिट क्या करेंगे सर्विस ठीक है ये भी हो गया आपको मैंने दस रुपए दिए मैंने आपको पंद्रह रुपए दिए आपको बोला धंधा करो क्या करोगे आप नॉट इन अ बैड वर्ड धंधा मतलब एज इन डू सम बिजनेस फिफ्टीन रुपीज यू वॉट वॉट विल यू डू बाय बाय एंड सेल राइट बट बाय एंड सेल वॉट कमोडिटी ओके कमोडिटी बाय की और सेल की इसमें सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम क्या है कमोडिटी बाय और सेल में पंद्रह रुपए आपके पास वैल्यू कहां मिलती है क्या नहीं मिलती बिजनेस का धंधे का सिर्फ तीन असूल है रिड्यूस ऑपेक्स भैया पंद्रह रुपए वाला चीज खरीदने जा रहा हूं दस रुपए में मिलेगी बीस रुपए में बेचूंगा तभी मेरे को फायदा है एक्चुअल धंधा मार्जिन बढ़ाऊंगा जब मैं अपनी ऑपरेशनल एक्सपेंडिचर रिड्यूस करूंगा अगर मेरे पास चार आदमी और लगा के इस पंद्रह रुपए में करने की कोशिश करूंगा तो सबको साढ़े सात रुपए और चार रुपए पांच रुपए देने पड़ेंगे कोई धंधा नहीं होगा मेरा तो जितना है उसमें से करवा दो तो ऑपेक्स रिडक्शन सेकंड कस्टमर से आपने सर्विस कर दी कमोडिटी क्या कस्टमर से क्या चाहते हो आप पैसे तो चाहते हो पैसा मिल गया लॉयल्टी वेरी गुड कस्टमर हमेशा बार बार आपके पास आए तभी आपका धंधा चलेगा तो इन 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 जनरल मार्केटिंग पैराडाइम वी कॉल इट एनपीएस नेट प्रोमोटर स्कोर so net promoter score increase is the second value for every business bhai mere jo business main jinke sath dhanda karta hu wo bar bar mere paas aaye mujhse bar bar baat kare aur kuch nahi kar rahe last ek important cheez hai jo abhi aayi hai pehle nahi thi these two are the fundamental units of a business this is the last important cheez third which is which is it's just come come now very recent 2016 very very recent चलो पर्पस मान लेते हैं आजकल पर्पस जरा ज्यादा बोलने लग गए हम लोग बट बट ठीक है पर्पस मान लेते यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट सर पर्पस पर्पस ऑफ व्हाट व्हाट पर्पस व्हेन यू से सोसाइटी व्हाट इज योर सोसाइटी सर सोसाइटी एट लार्ज की छोड़ो जान दो उसको बड़े लंबे चौड़े कहानियां हो महात्मा गांधी वाली सोसाइटी एट लार्ज वाली आपकी सोसाइटी कहां बनती है घर हमारी सोसाइटी भैया पहले घर है पहले अपने घर को खुश रखोगे तो ही बाहर वाले को खुश रखवाओगे राइट घर घर में सबसे बड़ा प्रोसेस कौन है जो आपको पुश कर रहा है सबसे बड़ी चीज जो आपको पुश कर रही है समय घर में कौन सी है आप अपने घर में मतलब किसी और के घर में नहीं अपने घर में झाको नहीं सस्टेन हो गया यार आप लोग सब अच्छा कमाते हो अच्छा खाते हो अच्छा रहते हो सस्टेनेबल हो गए खत्म आपके घर में आपको सबसे बड़ा पुशर कौन है आपके घर में हाउस मैनेजर तो वो हाउस मैनेजर तो वो है यार वो तो मतलब ऊपर मतलब ऊपर डंडा लगा के बैठी है वो तो कुछ नहीं होने देता <laughs> बच्चे फ्यूचर फ्यूचर इफ यू गेट पुस्ट बाय योर किड्स इन योर हाउस आपके सारे वर्ड सही है sustainable for the future ensuring when my kids come into life or come into core they are they look at the value of the business that i have created that's the third point which came after 2016 all of us are being pushed by our kids go forward ye bhi karna hai 
ये भी होगा कई बार पियर प्रेशर में होता है कई बार मैं चाहता हूं करना है फंडामेंटल प्रॉब्लम स्टैक्स फॉर एनी बिजनेस टू मेटावर्स कम्स राइट ओवर देर नो आई कैन गिव यू अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ मेटावर्स सेंग एनिमेट एंड इन एनिमेट ऑब्जेक्ट इन थ्री डी एंड सी इट बाय योर पीसी यू बिकम मेटावर्स इन बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव दैट I am saying the reason why it's being pushed is opex reduction. When I did it for the bank, two values came out. Banking and non-banking transactions today happen to have two different real estates. Banking के लिए आप bank में जाते हो, non-banking के लिए आप उसकी loan branch में जाते हो, या किसी और चीजों के लिए. You can combine them together. First, opex reduction. Second value था. Second क्या था? Opex reduction के बाद क्या था? Loyalty. Now, if I can increase the of customers by sitting back at home and they do not have to wait through n number of calls of different channels phone se baat kiya call center wale ne bula call center ko dobara phone kiya to usko samajh mein nahi aaya i'm building loyalty that's why one common sector where i can give you a screen third my kid is pushing me my kid is pushing me your kids would be pushing you and that's why meta Just simple definition of why metaverse is there. How do we connect these? So we have to find out the business that is actually looking towards. So there's a lot of businesses looking at. Real estate वाला business है वो अपने flats बेचना चाहता है. Opex वो भी reduce करना चाहता है. बच्चों को वो भी दिखाना चाहता है. तो वो flats को metaverse में लेके आता है. अगर अगर what do you call realtor है कोई. So realtor को अपनी चीजें भी बेचनी है. और खरीदनी भी. तो वो मेटावर्स में जाता है अगर एजुकेशन वाला है उसको एजुकेशन अच्छी करनी है 3D में तो वो एजुकेशन ज्यादा सो यू जस्ट हैव टू हिट ऑफ द पॉइंट वेयर दैट बिजनेस वांट्स टू गो दे आर वेरी डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट बिजनेसेस बट दैट्स व्हाई बिजनेसेस हैव रियलाइज्ड दिस दैट दीस थ्री पैराडाइम्स विल गेट सॉल्व्ड थ्रू मेटावर्स दैट्स व्हाई मेटावर्स सॉरी हां हां ऑपेक्स विल सेम ऑपेक्स विल ऑपेक्स विल स्टिल बी देयर बिकॉज़ वी आर नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट 24 7 रिडक्शन इन ऑफ No, but we are talking about twenty-four-seven bank, okay, which is in uh, universe or something. Okay. Metaverse. Okay. Metaverse. And now, if I am going to a metaverse bank to the reception and saying, "Hey, I want a loan," but somebody has to reply very, to very me. Very good. Very good point. Now, this is where the technology comes in. The avatars over there are not just human beings; they're okay. also AI. But then it is same as talking to a bot on on their website, Correct. right? But the human psychology is that give the abstract a form of me. Ah, okay. So oh, if आप तो आज तक आपने ए को देखा नहीं करेक्ट <laughs> आपने ए से बात की और बोला कई बार गलत गलत चलता है कई बार अच्छा चलता है आई एम सेइंग दैट इन द मेटावर्स वी गिविंग द फॉर्म टू दैट एआई बाय अ ह्यूमन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ योरसेल्फ यू वुड लाइक टू टॉक इट बेटर दैट्स द ओनली आईडिया व्हाई आई एम गोइंग विद दिस गॉट इट थैंक्स सॉरी गो हेड गो हेड आई एम नीलेश फ्रॉम एमरसन आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन लाइक सी नाउ टेक्नोलॉजी चेंजिंग एट वेरी फास्ट पेस and as you see probably business leaders as on today are in higher age range ji then we can see all the crowd over here in middle age thing hame middle age mat bolo sir hamare baal safed hai mera mera bhi safed hai no no go go sorry and now the new generation coming in organizations in corporate ji it's a slightly different version sure. what we called as millennials correct and if i see my children they are still few years for them to come in the corporate industry or whatever sector they want to go very very true but then if we see there is a very very high difference when i was in school probably my parents and me that age difference or technological gap was much less correct today than, than today than than today than today it is tremendous today thing today there is vast gap between us so right? how how you visualize then when the generation come how because now we'll have very short generations Ji. on technology side so how this can coexist or can they coexist actually we have to we have to make an effort nilesh sir to be actually relevant for them we are not digital natives yes aap aur main agar apna life piche dekhe to abhi bhi hum bell tech ka wo tv chalate the jisme aath channel ko aise aise press karte the hum log yes. usme bhi kisi ko jaake karna padta hai kisi ko laat marna chalo जाके 
molded ourselves to reflect to what they were doing. We actually changed ourselves, right? We would have never done this with our parents. My dad would have actually given me a tight slap if I said, Sir, ye hota nahi hai. Aaj mera bolta hai, Are you being silly? No, if I'm being silly, that really means that I have to learn, right? So that's one of the things that we do is the feedback part. So for us, for every generation growing across, I see some young, these are young, sir, these are young kids. When he comes to me and asks a question, my first response is not a dissuasion of the question. Hey, yaar, bakwas, kya bakwas? Ja, yaar, mere bada experience. Hai. First thing that we are teaching inside the lab is that every question and every thought is valid. Please understand. Please at least be empathetic. Itna empathy rakh do, jo bhar ki taraf rakhte ho, customer ke liye. At least understand what the kid is trying to say. If you can't understand it, then you get a group of them and say, Aray, tumko samaj mein aata, tum log kya bol rahe ho? Kyunki hum logo ko to samaj mein aata, hum budde ho gai. Right? Then is the part where you actually do, this is the first curation that we are doing. The second curation is to go into their level and understand what they are trying to do. What's their way? What's their value add? Or where do they get a value out of it? If they simply reject it, we also simply reject it. If they don't, then we say, tu kya karna? That's where the principles of design thinking, design knowledge, and so on and so forth really come in. So that's really the idea in which we go. We'll have to mold ourselves. Every generation will have to mold now in this technology age in terms of what's the next generation coming. But if you don't do it, we are surreally being passed out. They will not come to us. They will simply say, boss, tum logo nahi samaj mein aata, main kaha ja. That's the only approach that we have to do. So read and learn more maybe. So if, if we re remain relevant, we'll remain in... Absolutely. <laughs> in the real, real universe. Correct, correct. And I'll tell you what our kids are showing. So I took my kid to Singapore and I gave, went, in, went in the mall and he, and he looks at me and says, Dad, uh, what's the difference? So I said, yeah, dekh le. What's the difference? Kera, the toys are the same. The structure is the same. Ka toh, ek kaam kar. Log dekh le, log hai. Se maja le le ki Singapore mein That's the change that we're saying. Remember us. When we used to get onto a plane and go to Singapore, we were doing this. We were in foreign country. We were doing something. We were doing foreign country. Ko job nahi. Because every bit of information is actually planted in their brain and they don't really find it as a different thing. Right? So we've got to adjust to them. So now the second time I took them, I was just maybe I was not very excited. Because Singapore, I was very excited. Because Singapore, was very excited. He was excited. It's not found in India. So then I reacted back. So you may have to mold yourself based on these things. That's what you're doing, right? We're molding. We have two questions on. Please, please, please. Yeah. So Ketki asks, curious to know how are you empathizing with yourself? Because then we gain the insight from customer stakeholders by empathizing with them. So as you mentioned, empathize with yourself. So how are you doing? So first of all, we actually look at uh, the way I do it is I actually have a principle of looking at what are my failures and we don't call it as failures. We call it as feedbacks. That's the first empathy that we do with it. Koi failure nahi hai. Hum bar bar apne aapko samjate hai, even fail ho gaye. Koi failure nahi hai, koi failure nahi hai, koi failure It's a feedback, it's a feedback, it's a feedback, right? So this, for this particular purpose in the lab, we've got a bicycle which I tried very first when I, when I, when I made the lab. The idea of the bicycle was, can it stand on its own? given some kind of connection with center of gravity. I tried it for three months, had absolutely no result. What I did was I took the bike and I actually planted it on the wall. I said, that's the first feedback. <laughs> Objective. So you've got to make sure that you convert your failure section into feedback. For organizations, the only change that we're doing is there is no failure. We tend to grab and slot people in terms of failure saying, ye tujhe bola tha nahi hua. Sala itna sales karne ko bola tha, aisa nahi ho sakta hai. That's the first cut from an organization perspective. I'm sorry, there's no failure. It's all a feedback. So that's the only way we empathize with ourselves. Right. Great. Thank you so much. Second question from Gaurav Bhatia. How do we create metrics because organization care about revenue, impact, and good NPS is valued by top management? but challenged by middle management at marketing teams? No, I think that's a great question. I don't have a real answer. My, my answer to him is keep trying. What I did was I wanted to do it. I came back and I made it. Obviously, at, at certain point in my lifestyle, people said, kya bana hai? 
क्यों होगा इसका कोई मेट्रिक्स का फायदा नहीं है टूडे एट एवरी आर एफ आई दैट वी गिफ्ट टू अर कस्टमर मेकर्स लैब गेट्स एडेड internally in the in the response saying we've got an innovation lab right so it's that perseverance and that persistence and sometimes and a large times luck as well i think we got of it's largely luck because we are stuck in that kind of a system where customer becomes the prime target and commerce becomes the prime target my reason why i came back to india was actually actually to change this format of india i i see there's so much value amongst what we've been doing that we don't collate we don't try and think about the deeper part and that's why the why um, and that was the only thing i was lucky enough to to get it through so. okay great one last question what so maybe this question is combination of lot of things what we spoke so there are three important things in what we do about business so net net if i compile it's all about roi maine kuch kiya meko paisa milna chahiye right somebody sponsoring i am delivering so we make metaverse so there is a value with some business how things about it there is a relevance like if if, if i take your kids example so if i pick the point of relevance you can only get the roi if there is an acceptance to that system okay. absolutely right in in other means if i have to say this that if this thing has to be taken to the roots of the india yeah. right maybe for those guys the relevance is 5 years right ahead or it's 10 years ahead ki jo aaj bhi feature phone use karta hai विदर्भा के कोई कोने में चले जाओ या या तमिलनाडु मैं 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 करता हूं आपकी है है उनकी मैं आपको कोई कई एग्जांपल देता यू नो हाउ मेनी मोबाइल फोन इंडिया बिलियंस विद पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 1.3 बिलियन वी आर क्लोज टू 1 बिलियन मोर देन 1 बिलियन मोबाइल्स 1.3 बिलियन नाउ एवरीबॉडी हैज अ मोबाइल फोन नाउ व्हिच इज अ स्मार्टफोन राइट नाउ प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर हाई एंड एंट्री पॉइंट्स या बिकॉज़ दे आर फेसिंग एन नंबर ऑफ चैलेंजेस ये भामल जो मैंने बनाया है क्यों आया because i was on one of the aic boards one of the aic boards mein there were a group of kids from chatisgarh very low lying area economically weak wahan pe problem hai unki uh, malnutrition ki 90% are malnutrition teen bacche hain 45 km roz pedal chal ke jate hain school aur wapas ek bacche ne hara saag lal saag aur bajra ek land pe gira diya the weed that grew up they took made a juice chatisgarh malnutrition problem is over yeah that kid has now got enough 50 lakh incentive from unicef he got it he came to us ab hamari hamari thought sun hamara innovation kya hum saale innovation nahi karte hum log hamare paas aaya ab main commerce se bounded hu because main company mein bhi hu main corporate bhi hu mujhe ghar ka bhi chalana hai sab kuch so this comes to us and he says sir aage kya kare to hamara to hamara commerce wala idea hota hai sir packet mein na seeds bana dena humne ye example diya usko humne kaha yaar ek kaam kar चूरा बना के पैकेट में डाल दे बिकॉज द पैकेट वुड सेल बेटर इट्स मोर हाइजेनिक द किड वाज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड ही वाज नॉट ही रिफ्यूटेड मी सेड सर आप सही कह रहे हैं मैंने कहा यार हाँ हाइजेनिक होगा तू तो पैकेट में डालेगा तेरा बिग जाएगा तेरा रिटेल स्टोर में लगेगा सर वो चाहे वो चाह ही नहीं है मुझे चाह है कि जो मैंने हरे साग लाल साग और बाजरे से किया है ये मैं सारी दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूँ अब आप मुझे बताओ कैसे बताऊं तो मैं आई वाज स्टंप्ड आई डिडंट नो व्हाट टू डू आई सेड मैं क्या मैं मैं ले जाऊंगा मैं बता दूंगा तू प्राइस जीतेगा तो मैं तेरे को ट्विटर में सोशल मीडिया में कह रहा सर ये मजेदार नहीं है ये बताओ आप इसको लेके जाए कैसे जाओगे सो आई सेड तेरे को चाहिए क्या सो आई सेड हैड आई नोन इंग्लिश आई वुड हैव क्रिएटेड अ ब्लडी वेबसाइट ऑफ माय ओन आई वुड हैव टेकन इट टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई वुड हैव टेकन इट टू वाई कॉम्बिनेटर इमेजिन अ किड इन छत्तीसगढ़ मैल न्यूट्रिशन नोज अबाउट वाई कॉम्बिनेटर Why combinator? He he told me. So I said, "Wo me teri help karta hu." That's where Bhamal came. I said, "Tujhe Hind English seekhne ki zarurat nahi hai. Mai Hindi mein banana ke liye toh teri website tu jo jab banana chahta bana." So I'm saying that the gap may be very less pushing in terms of what we may think in urban sectors, because yeah. the problems that they're seeing are plenty. Agreed. I'll tell you where my question is coming. Right. So recently I was in Leh. All right, so if you go to the Pangong side, where the network is not running, one is running, BSNL is running, and that is also running on the feature phone. Pe hi correct, chalta hai. correct. Okay, you, you can't even probably. Uh, You're the, talking about an army issue that that have. Inka not problem necessarily, not, because the other networks now, of course, Jio has started there. So if you see the lifestyle of the village and everything there, right? Even if they have to probably buy the vegetables, they have to travel 150 kilometers, go to the Leh market correct. or the Dikshit market, and then they have to probably bring it there. Correct. So for somewhere, right? If Union Bank, they have branches everywhere. It's a nationalized mm. bank. Mm. 
So for somebody from there, right, if they have to operate their bank account, and why I'm asking this question? Very good question, yeah. Because industry or the market or people like us, we will only talk of the commercialization, commercialization of the product, correct, correct. right? But then commercialization at certain sector, right, it's, that's where we go into the computation of ROI. That three years after that, I will break even, and in the fourth year, I will have 10% margin. Hoga. Correct. So in this type of world of innovation where we only look at the major angle is commercialization. Correct. And then there is an angle of society and that probably getting into the new new world of era. Correct. So that relevance uh, uh, is a very thin line. The relevance is a very thin line, but I found a very interesting formula which I'm sharing with you. If you solve an Indian problem, then you can solve your customer's problem. Exactly, because we are the most, one of the biggest market in the world. We, we've got the maximum amount of friends. Yeah. Jo milega, wo bhi hai. Correct. Right. And I'll tell you something. Hey, Satish, hai, Satish ka hai bead mein. You huh. know, yeah. About six hours away from it, like a village, village. Every kid has a mobile phone who's actually playing on Roblox. Okay. Roblox. The farmers have money to give their kids laptop as well, and he will accrue to you. I actually opened the metaverse by going to his village. Abhi karu kaise usko? How can I bring him together? So he's playing Go. He's playing those big, you know, the Konsi games. Khelte the mobile bache. Wo, wo jo, ne ne, jo initially pehle before typing, before tune start. Wo jo, wo war games khelte the, wo. Racing games खेलते थे, कुछ भी इधर-उधर करते थे racing, but mobile phone था। अब इसको how do I turn this gaming sector into a kind of way that I can make them learn as well? So that was the idea. That's why I opened up the metaverse. Now I solved this problem over here, right? So गांव के लिए हो गया। Where do I solve it? मेरे customers की ये problem है। हम इसमें template बन जाता है ना तो adoption के लिए something like we somewhere, right? The challenge what we have seen in organization and maybe others can agree is the question of adoption. Yes. You may have the vision. The, the, the company sponsoring may have the vision, but the user, right? May not How probably it. we bring that vision more closer. So the adoption oh, becomes... Kar, kar karna padega, ah. Because I think that's the way we can do it. It's not, there's no silver bullet to it. I think yeah. the idea is you adopt more, you tell people more. That's the only way you get into so that. So that was the question, right? How do we brand, right? Not only us, but the, even the product to probably reaching to the uh, ground level. That somewhere that question always comes in that we do a lot of stuff, but then somewhere we... Forget to brand it. Get a get a ambassador from the ground level to brand it. Wo best brand it. Hmm. Word of mouth to chali jayega, but get an ambassador from the ground itself. Jahan pe actual problem solve hua. Don't try and uh, you know if I may say flimsify the entire branding. Ki kahi to solve hoga. Isliye humne banaya tha aur ham ye kar rahe hain kyunki wo nahi chalega. What we try and do is we get these kids as our brand ambassador and say, "Tere problem solve hui thi na bol." That's the brand. Right. But again, different ways in this shoot too. There's no real answer to it. Har bande ke apna answer hai. Adoption. Yeah. Okay, great. So I think we are over time. So over to Jyotin to share the word of thanks. Thank you so thank much, you, Nikhil. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Oh. What a beautiful Saturday morning. I think I have a lot of insights here and I could see people asking questions and that's so much knowledge exchanges. First of all, I would like to thank the CIF founder, basically, who enabled us this platform where we can exchange this thought. And somewhere there was in the last section, uh, the meetup, Rahul also shared that openness is something which is a key to innovation. I think uh, I would like to congratulate and thank you very much Akshay Sani, he is not here, uh, but please uh, pass our gratitude to him. And uh, of course, Rahul, uh, you three are the pillars for CIF, and uh, thank you very much for providing us this platform. And this is where I think it, it is this bridge. No, this, this forum is building that bridge between corporates. I see it's a very beautiful insight where competitors are sitting together and still exchanging the knowledge. I think no other forum can do such thing that what uh, CF has done to us. So thank you very much, uh, Akshay, Rahul, and Sanit. <laughs> no, but I think I think it, it's very nice. Uh, uh, it, uh, and of course, uh, Nikhil, what an amazing personality you are. And uh, it reflects also on the things you are doing for TechM. And also, I think this is more of a uh, food for thought or for us as well, what we can do. And somewhere, I, I, since I am also having a technical background, I can understand that you can move a technical person into a manager role, but you cannot remove technicalities from him. So I think somewhere you connected physics, somewhere you connected AI, everything, and still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
क्या करे सो इट इट इट्स एंड समवेयर आई आई इवन इन स्कूल आई स्टडीड संस्कृत बट आई नेवर न्यू दैट दिस टेक्नोलॉजी टेक्निकलिटीज वेयर यू कैन रिवर्स इट एंड स्टिल सो दैट्स व्हाई पीपल से दैट इट इज द मैथमेटिकल लैंग्वेज इट इट आल्सो हैज दोस रूट्स एंड आई आई कुड रिलेट इट नाउ वेल and of course one of the key message no uh, about the empathizing before empathizing to customers we should empathize to ourselves i think that is very much needed and certainly there are failures there are feedback awesome 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 thought uh, also i would like to thank all the virtual participants uh, innovation coaches from stl has also taken this opportunity to be a part of this forum so thank you very much and also all the participants uh who are here uh, taking this time out on saturday morning this was very well organized even i uh, thank you akshay especially because we had a lot of interaction uh, between us and uh, he is a very good guy collaboration was very smooth and easy and of course uh, i will not, not take much of the time we'd like to have a group photo and then uh, we can go uh, pizza and networking yeah. and of course uh, a token of gratitude uh, which we would like to pass on to nikhil so i would like to invite uh, anup and bushan on stage uh, we have a small token for nikhil uh, can we have anup and bushan and nikhil please on stage thank you Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, yeah. Please, Akshay. And I cannot forget to thank Sandeep and team, and of course Shekhar, who traveled from Mumbai to see that everything is working perfectly. Yeah, thank you for. Hope the pizzas are there. Hi, Anna. No, so we thank you. Back is later. Yeah. Okay. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, upcoming event. We are planning a half-day event at possibly at. symbiosis as well so the date and time is yet to be confirmed so mr yogesh from symbiosis is planning uh, to host this conference and also the next host from mr srinivas at tech mahindra so we would love to see the makers lab it's all open so we'll just plan out the date and time and also the people from other cities you are most welcome to host the meetups so there are few other members in chennai bangalore and mumbai we also have a new member joining in from mumbai as well so we'd like to stay connected and we'll plan accordingly thank you so much thank you again i would like to extend my gratitude to swapnil viraj who is handling the remote zoom control thank you very much uh, it was very smooth for us and uh, of course uh, spending your time on the saturday morning so thank you very much and here we go Thank you, remote. Yeah. yeah, yes, yeah. So we will gather at the reception area. Uh, the admin team will help you to reach out there. We will go together. Remote, thank you, thank you all joining. You will miss the pizzas, but uh, we'll make sure that uh, next time we we try to arrange in a way that you can also be a part of it. Thank you.